Hi again everyone, this is Steve Bolden with the Landscape Design Site. In this video we're going to take a look at a Mediterranean courtyard that we're creating right now and more specifically in this video we're going to talk about how we created the drainage. Now we'll be, we'll go through this entire uh, courtyard design and, and creating it and, and actually this um, this courtyard is part of a, of a much larger project that we're working on and we talked about actually talked about this design in another video and we kind of just touched on the major points of the design and, and how it was created and we even touched on the courtyard a little bit in that video uh, but now that we're starting the project we will be working our way from the center of the project out which uh, the courtyard being the center that's where we're going to start our project at anyway this is kind of a sketch of what we started with with the courtyard it's just a basic sketch but it gave us an idea of where we're going to go um, and like I said we're going to go through um, every part of this design um, every bit of its creation starting with the courtyard and finishing out uh, uh, probably with the lawn so just uh, you know keep an eye out for all the videos that come from us because this is going to be uh, pretty good anyway we're going to talk about creating the drainage in this courtyard and, and that's really important in in all landscaping you need to consider your drain and your slope um, uh, you know and your grading because um, you know when the water comes you need to have a plan for it or a place for it to go um, so it's something to consider and especially in a courtyard like this where it's completely enclosed and um, has a roof like this right here which can capture and dump an enormous amount of water in a very short time so uh, we want to figure out what we're going to do with that water and where it's going to go when it does come because it will come so the first thing that we did um, in our planning and grading of this this area is that um, this actual grade slopes a total of two inches from this side of the courtyard to this side of the courtyard which is 62 feet and um, let's take a look here that's at the that's at the ground level and all of this area I will uh, adjust to to have a downward slope now all of our soldier rows uh, they are also adjusted to go with the flow of the property and so everything is going to flow down this area and chant we're going to channel it with our, our soldier rolls and keep everything going this way and we're going to channel it down to the ends of the courtyard through two areas one here and one here and channel it out through some pipes in the wall so that's how we're going to channel the water to make sure that we don't ever have any standing water. Um, and the way that I create that, and I'll get into screeding in another video, and screeding is how we create our level area for our, our brick pavers to actually sit on. Um, what we'll do is, is, is we'll go through that um, in detail in another video, but in this video we're just kind of touching on how uh, it was done. So what we did here is in between each one of these points this um, this ground slopes a, a quarter inch between each one of these points so it drops a quarter inch to here and a quarter inch to here and so on all the way down and in that way I'm able to use my screeding points and when I do screed across here it will be consistent and naturally flow uh, down the total of the two inches that we have here. So another way that we helped create the drainage in here is of course we had to keep everything flowing in here and so the courtyard itself is uh, two and a half inches below this main step of the home the home is actually two and a half inches higher and then this is dropped down and recessed in here so um, if we would have just created a step right here of course we would have had a level area out to here which in would, would have created a place for standing water so instead of doing that in every area where there is uh, it leads away from the home we just sloped it away um, in that area this area and, and any other areas in this courtyard so that helped and also like I said before our soldier rows 
are raised a quarter to a half inch above the rest of the pavers and you can kind of see it here um, how it's raised up it's about a quarter inch higher half an inch higher and that will help keep the water in the channel as it flows uh, towards the other end now we have to do something with the water coming off of this roof because it has the potential to be a lot of water in a major downpour and even uh, the way we have this graded and everything channeled um, what we have created down here with the drains through the wall isn't going to be enough to uh, to handle that much water if there was a major downpour and also there, there would be a potential with that much water if say some branches or leaves got knocked off the trees to uh, clog up that uh, those ports going out through the wall so we don't want to depend on that completely so we're going to create a gutter system on this home um, on this courtyard and to keep it from being intrusive we're going to actually run the pipe underneath the bricks here and in my own defense um, this is actually something that we had planned on um, in the beginning or had had considered and then decided to leave out um, but as we got more into the project uh, we decided that we were going to go ahead and add this uh, this gutter system and this culvert. So we're going to have a pipe running through here and so what that meant was that we had to tear everything up. And I cannot say enough about uh, preparation and planning. Um, it was a setback but um, considering it, it, it was the smartest and the best thing to do. And it also meant that we had to poke a hole through the foundation of this footer, which is extremely well built. We had to use a, drac a jackhammer to get through the footing of this wall. And I think that was the hardest part of this entire deal. Um, again, uh, I really wished we would have planned ahead and, and done this right as we had planned in the first place. Anyway, there's the, the pipe eventually going through the wall and draining out the other side of the wall and uh, we will dress this up out here um, and make a holding area for this water that comes out of this courtyard. So now that we have our gutter system built, it drains down through the downspout and we created the, we, we tied directly into the four inch pipe, uh, made it really attractive by the way that we did it and you can't even tell once we've got this done that the pipe is even under there. So you can see there's one downspout there. We have two downspouts on this because the amount of water and the span on this uh, one downspout would not have handled um, all the water coming off of that roof. So as you can see it's it's not intrusive and this is the other downspout and there's a, a fitting that fits exactly on um, the downspout that uh, fits right onto the four inch pipe so it worked really well and then so I'll just make my cuts around this and it goes right directly into it. it's very clean uh, it's not intrusive doesn't get in the way looks good the color of the gutter fits the home so anyway um, that's how we've created the drainage in this courtyard now the le next few videos we're going to talk about screening and uh, you know we're going to go on with this design and uh, see everything it took to create the courtyard and um, and then from that point we'll go back out into uh, the rest of the design and you know just uh, watch the whole creation of this thing so anyway watch for more videos from us the landscape design site dot com and landscaping videos dot com